EFCC arrest 32 suspected young boys in Lagos. That is something that a lot of people are now responding to, calling it a Christmas hunt for the EFCC. But I still have, um, you know, Hush Puppy lawyer coming out to speak that Hush Puppy is innocent at this particular time, where we have various evidence pointing against Hush Puppy. And that is something that some people are saying that, man, you could be paid to become, you know, kind of dons. That is something that a lot of people are now talking about. Not after seeing this whole of evidence read out by, you know, FBI against Hush Puppy, and you are still saying that he is innocent at this particular time. I will talk about it more in this video. Yes, Uganda, Nigeria is now trending on social media as Baby Cool, who was suspected of calling police on um, you know on Bali and Thames while in Uganda over the um, you know breaking C19 guidelines at their shoe that is something that some people are now you know calling out this guy for you know he made a statement and called himself a legendary musician why some people are saying that how come we don't know you but I'll be talking about this in this particular video before I jump right in I want you guys to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share this video across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media note that c19 is real and you should take precautionary um, you know actions against c19 wash your hands and then use hand sanitizer wipe of contaminated surfaces <music> Right, trending right now on social media is um, the EFCC, you know, actually hunting down 32 suspected young boys, you know, in Lagos State, and that is something that some people are now responding to. According to a report that made around, they said, um, you know, these boys have been involved in a computer-related, um, you know, fraud, which uh, was actually being surveyed and monitored by EFCC for you know, a, a period of time right now before clamping down on them uh, they were actually arrested um, so we are plot number 12 uh, road 2 goodness estate um, in Lake along Lekki Aja expressway in Lagos and also some of them were still caught at uh, Chevy view estate in the same area in Lagos state and uh, Chevron Drive Lekki Lagos and uh, some people are saying that man the Nigerian government should have you know look into the this kind of things being prevalent in Nigeria because um, a lot of young people they don't have job even when they graduate from school I think the government has not done well um, in uh, actually um, you know kind of uh, fertilizing the environment to grow businesses um, because the environment or the, the infrastructure for businesses to grow is something disturbing at this particular time as a lot of people are now complaining of um, you know unemployment cost of living getting high and cost of doing businesses or ease of doing business in Nigeria is not you know that friendly that is why some people have taken to you know the life of crime that is some argument being put forward by some experts and you get to understand that there's something they call situational drift theory that is something i believe and i studied it over time that some people are likely to do things you know just to stay alive that is one thing i believe about that but anything you feel about this video you know why don't you put it in the comment section so that we can actually talk about it for that but uh, you got to understand that um, this Yahoo something has uh, been given uh, Nigerians bad image across the globe that is why you see most Nigerians when they travel out of this country they have been given uh, some kind of ill treatment because of this kind of story being prevalent about us at home Gal Prizeski uh, Hush Puppies lawyer has actually come out again to say men 
innocent my client is innocent as charged that is something that is trending right now on social media because you know some people are saying that not after seeing this kind of um, you know evidence against hush puppy and you are still making such kind of statement that is unwise of you and uh, some people are saying that it's better right now that hush puppy start pleading guilty so that to reduce um, the J term for himself, you know, because Hush Puppy has a lot of evidence pointing against him that is being read out by FBI. And come next year, by the grace of God, we're going to be hearing the case in court because it was actually a jointy next year. And some people believe that Hush Puppy have not actually played a role um, around his community in Nigeria in uh, within his family that is why he's not getting a lot of support from his um, you know immediate community and uh, his uh, family members because none of them have spoken about hush puppy hush puppy actually um, is some guy that uh, you know lives a, la a lavish lifestyle on social media until being caught somewhere sometimes in this year in Dubai and was actually um, you know taken or extradited to us for you know further investigation and prosecution but right now his lawyer is still busy defending the crimes of hush puppy what do you think about that do you think that yes hush puppy can actually make it out of this case because we got a lot of evidence pointing against hush puppy and meanwhile some people are complaining already in most countries especially uae because of the likes of hush puppy victims and a lot of young boys around the corner around the country or that has a nigerian passport with them committing this kind of fraud and you will get to understand that uh, this has actually um, you know affected a lot of people doing legitimate businesses abroad i find some people chatting me up saying that man we are suffering because of the actions of young boys they no longer believe our stories and what can you actually make out of this i want that in my comment section right now on mali um you know uh and thames who were arrested in uganda at the time you know um, being accused of flouting uh, c19 guidelines of uganda you know uh have been released so far and they are back in nigeria but uh, a particular Ugandan, uh, you know, artist was actually accused of being the masterminder of that arrest. Uh, his name is uh, Bebe Cool, and that person has actually come out to clear the air, and uh, which I'll be giving to you. He actually had an interview with, um, you know, um, uh, Hip TV, which was, uh, you know, made viral on social media. A lot of people are responding to that, and he did call himself a legend, and uh, some Nigerians are reacting to that saying that you are a legend how come we don't know about you but before i jump off you know uh, leaving that video to you guys i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel or hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media